Hello, uh, welcome to a Pokerist sponsored video. Pokerist are sponsoring our entire poker tournament. Um, if you didn't catch the first one, I won't spoil who won uh, the, the opening uh, game, tournament, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's me. Me. Uh, but one of the things we've seen a lot is people just asking really much about the kind of the, the basic rules of poker. Kind of what are we playing, how do you play, what, what does what mean, all of those sorts of things. Now obviously Perian is helping us along uh, during the live broadcast, but I thought, you know what, I can give you a bit of advice. I've been playing Pokerist. Pokerist helps you learn how to play poker. Uh, there is a link in the description and attached to this video. So if you want to just download and play Pokerist, obviously that helps us out proves that you know this was a worthwhile adventure on their side and equally pokerist will help you play poker better i have played it i've won twice now uh you know it's not it's not a big deal but you know it's kind of what it's about um anyway what we're going to look at today is is what is texas hold'em and how does it work and the best way to do that is by just dealing some cards out we'll do them face up and we'll talk through what is going on so let's do it okay so we have um, if I'm the dealer, we're going to have uh, we're going to have three players in this: a small blind, a big blind, and then uh, first under the gun. Uh, now, so the small blind is fixed bet. Before they see any of their cards, they've already got to chuck in some money. The big blind has to chuck in uh, more, twice as much normally. Uh, so we're seeing um, a lot of money already in this fictional pot. No one cares. Okay, here we go. So we're going to deal out a card one by one along to these players already. We're gonna see some tasty differences. Oh, look at this. What an interesting three hands. So, the first to act is this guy over here. Now, what he's managed to draw is a five and a 10, but they are suited to get what's called a straight draw, whereby we get sequentially uh, a series of cards, uh, but it, they are the same suit. So actually, if we see three more clubs on the flop turn or river, that is a flush draw, and that is pretty tasty. That's a good one, that's a good one. Over here, the small blind has got a king and an eight. They're not suited. Uh, a king is a very high value face card. Um, an eight uh, is kind of too far away from the king to be too much use, but maybe that's worthwhile having a little bit in. They're already small blinds, so only a little bit more, assuming no one raises, um, and they can see some action. Over here in the middle, we've got an ace eight. Uh, now the ace is, a, is, is the highest card you can have as a pair. The eight, again, not suited and uh, too far away to be any kind of real value in terms of a straight. And equally, what this player doesn't know, that's one less club. Let's assume everyone said, you know what, I'm interested. Let's see what the dealer's got. The dealer then discards a card, making it fair. I haven't, I haven't checked through this deck. This is all genuinely random. And we'll see what we deal out with the, what's called the flop. So here uh, we see two hearts and a spade. So already this is impossible. We're only going to see two more cards fall out of here. So we cannot, even if they're both uh, clubs, we will not have a flush opportunity here. But what we have seen are these two tens. They match. So this person here has drawn on the flop a pair of tens. Now there is a queen on the board, so that 10 potentially isn't the highest pair that we've seen. However, because we actually see everyone's cards here, we know that this player's currently in the lead. If they decide to bet it out, check it out, whatever we're gonna do in terms of chucking more money in, what would happen next is the dealer would burn a card and flip it round. Now, things just got a bit tasty up in here. That's right, we've got a jack and a queen and a 10. So the order would be 10, jack, queen which means if we've got a king somewhere, and if we saw a nine, we would then have a straight. And so this player, it hopefully, is still in the action at this point. This guy in the middle, he's got an ace and an eight. Nothing's come up of any value. To be honest with you, they probably should have folded already, um, but if not, they should be folding now. Uh, this, still a pair of tens, is a little bit worrying seeing another card that beats their 10 coming on the board, but you know, maybe they're staying in. So now we're gonna just discard one more card, flip over this last one, it's a two, a deuce. Um, it is however a third heart, so had someone had two hearts, then that would have been a flush draw for them. We've only got one heart in the hands there. So currently uh, that would be a, a championship 
win there with a pair of tens. That's the sort of thing I go all in on, guys. A pair of tens. I'm pretty happy with a pair of tens. Uh, however, in this hand, we've seen that the the first time the gun there is actually probably stepped away with a fair amount of money from this guy here, just hoping he saw a nine. Um, that would have been the dream right there. I don't know. Out of interest, discarded. Oh, we did. We discarded a nine. But we also discarded a 10, so that would have been three of them. Anyway, so there you go. That is a basic hand of poker. Uh, hopefully, you've learned a bit. Uh, if you want to learn more, obviously, poker is the app. That's the best place to do it. Um, you just download it in the description, and away you go. Um, if you're like me, just go all in every hand. It's fake money. It makes no difference. But hopefully, along the way, you learn a bit, and uh, maybe you'll be like this guy here, and you'll win with a pair of 10s. Maybe. Uh, I'm just checking, have I missed anything? Nope, that was the actual hand, I didn't mess it up. Uh, so, good times. Thanks for watching.